Hello students, I welcome you all to the small YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to reveal some of the most magical tricks from liquid dynamics. Okay, so let's read the question. The surface of an air bubble is, is doubled as it rises from the bottom of the lake to its surface. Okay, the atmospheric pressure, the atmosphere pressure is 75 centimeter of mercury. The ratio of the density of mercury to that of the lake water is 40 by 3. The depth of the lake in meters. See, he is asking us depth. Alright, now we have to calculate depth. Here comes the shortcut trick. What the quantities they have given? Just note down the quantities. 75 centimeter and 40 by 3. This is density and this is atmospheric and atmospheric pressure. See, whenever you come across this type of questions, if they have given atmospheric pressure and density and they are asking you to calculate depth, just do a simple math. What you have to do is write down this 75. This is in centimeter and we need in meters, so divide by 100. Alright, now next multiply this number, the density. Just calculate, I mean simple math and here goes the answer 325. Now 25 for the 100 by 10, 0 cancels. So 10 meter is your answer. In just one line, getting my point, in just one line, you got the answer for such big questions. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Next trick a cubical block is floating in a liquid with half of its volume immersed in the liquid when the whole system is accelerated upward with acceleration of g by 3 the fraction of volume immersed in liquid keep your pen inside keep your pen inside no need of pen in this question what whatever they have given in the question answer lies in the question itself look at this question carefully okay a cubical block is floating in a liquid with half okay note this word half okay whenever you come across this type of questions your half will be your answer okay just as simple as it is just remember the trick remember the formulas it might be useful for solving any other question but you, when you come across this type of questions a cubical block which is floating in a liquid how much ever portion of the block which is floating in the liquid that portion will be your answer all right so 1 by 2 will be your final answer for this let's move on to the next trick see a wooden cube just floats inside water with 200 gram mass placed on it when the mass is moved the cube floats with its top surface 2 cm above the water level what is the side of the cube see he is asking us side of the cube now here comes the trick look at the quantities what they have given they have given 200 grams next 2 cm am i right these are the two numbers they have given in the question so whenever you are asked to calculate side what I have to do, write this 200 grams mass by side, I mean uh, the centimeters what they have given. Don't convert it into meters, let it be in centimeters itself because we have to get the answer in centimeters. Now just do one thing, take a square root of this. What will be, what will be the answer? It will be 100. Now root 100 is 10. See, in just one line, see, one, one line you got the answer. So simple as simple as it is right if you go on solving this question with the regular method you will take two to three minutes maybe right so with this amazing magical trick we just got the answer in one line in just less than 10 seconds you can answer this type of questions now let's come to the final last question okay figure shows two holes in a white tank containing a liquid in common the water stream the water streams coming out of these holes strike ground the height of the liquid column in the tank see i have just solved this question in a regular manner okay now remember one thing whenever there will be hole in the tie see whenever will having will be having in this in this type of setup just remember the range will be same let the hole be here let the hole be there 
it doesn't matter the range will be same all right so first equalize the ranges write the range formula then substitute the values this is h1 okay this 4 cm is h1 and this is h2 write equalize ranges then write their formula substitute them see in 4 to 5 lines you have to solve to get the answer but here comes the shortcut trick let me tell you the shortcut trick for this see whenever you, you are given with this type of question when you are asked to calculate the height of the liquid column see the words height of the liquid column okay then the height of the liquid column will be sum of the heights very simple right what are the heights they have given 6 centimeter and 4 centimeter so 6 plus 4 10 centimeter see in this case 4 to 5 steps 2 to 3 minutes in this in just 2 seconds not even 2 seconds if you just look at this for 6 plus 4 10 got the answer in less than 1 second just by looking at the question you can answer this see this is so amazing trick right so in this type of manner you can solve many questions I'll, I'll still make many videos on the shortcut tricks regarding this on this chapter so stay tuned and i'll provide the link to all those videos in the, in this in this video's description box okay so thank you for watching have a nice day